Hello friends, I'm glad to be together again. In today's episode we will talk about, how many extraterrestrial races are in the universe. Lotus Aliens. They have a human face and are about 3 meters tall. I'm in touch with the medium Tami Kali from Israel. They represent a medical team that treats people with the help of Tami Kali. Numerous healings were performed at Tami Kali's clinic. They are said to have transparent skin, large almond-shaped eyes and a small in stature. The main rules you follow are, please please, do everything by your head, do what you want, be yourself. The information about the blues comes from Robert Morningsky, an Apache dancer. According to Morningsky, the first official contact with aliens began in 1947-1948, when the Ashes contacted the US government to conclude a treaty with it. Then came the Blue Aliens, who advised the government not to come into contact with the Ashes, because they are dangerous. They said they could teach people about harmony and peace, but humanity must disarm and listen to them. The army did not agree. They left, but a few decided to stay in northern Mexico and Arizona and concluded a treaty with the Hopi Indians. These aliens are known by the Hopi Indians as the Star Warriors. The Greys began to monitor the Blues, so they left the reservation and hid. Some of the elders went with them. Hopi legends say that there were two races, the children of those who came from heaven and the children of reptiles who came from underground. A humanoid species that has aquatic features such as gills and legs like costumed divers. These traits allow them to live underwater. There is a possibility that they live in the depths of our oceans where they were seen piloting UFOs. They were also associated with animal mutilation. Others claim that Alpha Centaurs are present on Earth to enlighten people's consciousness. They have been described as light grey-blue, amphibian-looking aliens. They are a non-physical race of very old angelic beings from the Andromeda Galaxy represents the spiritual force behind Commander Ashtar and along with the Pleiadians are part of the same evolutionary branch as humans. A humanoid species associated with underground bases in Antarctica. They have blonde hair and white skin. Some descriptions of this breed are attributed to certain reptilian features such as feline or reptile eyes in colors ranging from pale yellow to bright green. Arctic aliens Arcturians are a very spiritual race who live in the universe or the reality of pure love. It seems that there is a certain gateway on their planet through which high frequency energy is transmitted in our dimensional universe. Members of the Lyra Prism Confederation of Humanists. It is clear that other types of highly evolved spiritually humanoid aliens are aware of the current situation of the Earth and act accordingly in the area of our planet. It's about the aliens on Arcturus and Vega. They were reported mainly in the 50s and 60s but there is much evidence of encounters with this kind of aliens even today. Countless contacts say they are in touch with them. Their name comes from the look they have. In general, they have blonde hair, blue eyes, white skin and excellent physical condition. They are dressed like people. Their height is about 2 meters and they have special psychic powers. Communicates especially through telepathy. Presents a non-protocol, free, relaxed behavior. Most encounters with these beings take place in rural areas or in small towns. Most of the mediums who are in contact with them say that they are very evolved spiritually but also technologically. It seems that few cases of contact with them involved cases of kidnapping or various experiments. Inhabitants of the planet Earth 6. Appearance of giant snakes. Reptile head with two large whitish eyes. 
Their body is very thick about 1.5 meters, and 4 to 5 meters high. They feed on a silver down grass that is found at ground level. The lifespan is 300 to 500 terrestrial years. Inhabitants of Bellatrix one of the brightest stars in the constellation Orion. Distance from Earth, 112.2 light years. The majority species is a reptile hybrid. It migrated from the Sagittarius constellation 25 million years ago. Their skin is covered with scales and they are very bony and on their heads they have a bony ridge. They have large red or yellow eyes. The mouth has thin lips that extend from one side of the head to the other. The ears are non-existent, only a sign of their existence, a circle of 7 to 8 centimeters. The scaly skin is similar to that of the crocodile, green, yellow, brown or red. They are bipedal. Thin hands have six long fingers with claws. The legs have five toes, which end with very sharp claws. They have a very small crocodile-like tail. Males are shorter than females. Males vary in height between 2.5 to 3 meters and females between 2.5 to 3 meters. The language is raw and guttural and consists of murmurs and whistles. Their scout ships look like dewdrops or beetles. They vary between 30 to 122 meters in length. The mother ships have lengths between 1.6 and 640 kilometers. They are members of the Galactic Confederation. Aliens in the Barnard Solar System This group includes most types of aliens. Beoids are extraterrestrial entities that function on the basis of a metabolism that is similar to or reminiscent of living things on Earth. Among the beings that are not part of this group we mention the extraterrestrial entities from the high-frequency astral planes that operate on the basis of other principles compared to the physical dimensions of existence. The latter, unlike biological entities, operate exclusively on the basis of etheric energy accumulated through various subtle energy centers. Another group that does not belong to the category of beoids are robots. Reptiles that are supposed to come from the boot system. It is assumed that these and the reptilian entities in the Draconis system are involved in the infiltration, implantation and control of human society on Earth in order to gain control in the future. Non-physical beings in the constellation Cassiopeia, located in a size larger than Earth. They are Nordic aliens, blondes, who come from Alpha Centauri. Like her Pleiadians. She seeks to help us evolve spiritually but is not actively involved as other races do, even though they have contacts with certain people on Earth. Apparently similar to us, but they have a faint shade of grey in their skin. They are a kind of robot created by the ashes. They have a childlike mentality. They are silent, slender and have the appearance of amphibious creatures that come from planets in the constellation Cygnus. They are a Nordic type breed that comes from what is called the Dal universe. They are a branch of the Lyrians and are very technologically and spiritually advanced. They are 300 to 1000 years before the Pleiadians. It helps the Pleiadians in the same way that the Pleiadians help us. They are a breed related to the aquatic environment and represent a more evolved version of dolphins on Earth. They are said to have a special spiritual level. Many mediums or contacts or mediums who have contacted them say that they positively, subtly influence the spiritual evolution of the Earthlings. Aliens with dinosaur-like physical appearance. Apparently, soulless entities that have been associated with Neosaurians or with the genetic line of reptiles. These beings are said to come from the Alpha Draconis star system. 
Elohim are the aliens who created the Earth through genetic engineering, according to Rariel, the famous contact who contacted them. After creating humans and leaving their land, they allowed society to progress naturally, according to its own rules, but still maintained contact through prophets such as the Buddha, Moses, Jesus and Muhammad, all specially chosen and educated by to them. Now they have returned to establish an embassy on earth, a place where they will be welcomed by people and governments on earth. But they can't land until the earthlings really want it. The goals of them and the Raelian movement organization are, to inform without persuasion. To establish an embassy to catalyze a society adapted to the future. The Elohim alien who contacted Rariel was an alien about 1.40 meters tall, had long brown hair, almond eyes, olive skin and expressed a lot of harmony and humor. Famous aliens, Viziriad members of the Galactic Confederation. I live on the brightest star in the constellation Piscis Austrinus, Southern Pisces. Piscis Austrinus is located between Aquarius and Grus. Distance. About 23 light years from Earth. There are two types of races. The first, a rebellious humanoid group from the Pleiades that colonized Fulmaho 250,000 years ago and is found on the third and fourth planets of the Fomalhaut system. The second group is a race of reptiles from Bellatrix to Orion which colonized the second planet in this solar system 200,000 years ago. The two sides created a confederation, Confederation of the Fomalhautans, after a series of destructive wars that ended 20,000 years ago. Physical Appearance The first breed resembles the so-called Nordics and are generally blonde with blue, brown or metallic gray eyes. The men are muscular and are about 1.85 meters tall. The females are reddish and have heights ranging between 1.7 and 1.8 meters. The second group of the first breed have a dark hair and look as if they are tanned with black hair and brown. Gray or black eyes. They have the same height and appearance as the first ones. The reptilian inhabitants are an original hybrid from Bellatrix in Orion. They are scaly and bony. It resembles Bellatricians. The humanoid scout ships are oval, like dewdrops. It varies between 18.3 to 26 meters in diameter. The motherships look like huge cigarettes with several levels and have diameters between 3.2 to 1,921 kilometers. The reptilian scout ships are in the shape of beetles and have about 30 meters. The mother ships resemble amoebae and have a diameter between 13 to 14,400 kilometers. Greys are the most common type of entity on other planets seen in cases of extraterrestrial encounters. They are humanoids. Their height varies from 2 to 4 feet. Generally they have black eyes, similar to insects, small or non-existent nose, small mouth with very small lips. Most kidnappers tend to consider them hostile. But there are also people who have a good opinion of them and their actions. The most common type of grey aliens, known as Zetus, from the star system Zeta Reticuli, the star Bernard. It borders the Orion area. They are organized according to apparently military criteria, with a rigid structure, they emphasize science and the conquest of new worlds. They have about 4.5 feet, large head, large oblique eyes. The facial features are limited, the mouth is very small, in the form of a small opening and the nose is missing. They have evolved beyond the need to have a reproductive or digestive system and reproduce by cloning. In part, their genetics are based on insectivorous genetics. Their science deals with the study of other life forms and genetic engineering. 
They are thought to have played an important role in altering human genetics over the millennia. It seems that they want to cross their race with the human one in order to create a new race superior to the two. They are also said to be an endangered species, especially due to their cloning breeding program. With each cloning they make, the species becomes weaker. They try to perpetuate their species by creating hybrids. There seem to be two important social classes. One is more cruel, sharp and direct, unpretentious. The other better one is much more refined and able to display a much more humane behavior and prefers to use a more diplomatic behavior to gain people's trust. This type of gray can be what is referred to as the orange group of gray. They seem to be emotionless, by human standards, and, as a result, are seen as cruel in the way they treat people. It is said that these wheat are the servants of a race of reptilian aliens and try to prepare the earth for their arrival, by exercising control over the earth using various means for this purpose. They enjoy the feeling of freedom they have on earth, away from their masters and would even like to help the earthlings in confronting reptiles. These greys have the best known bases in New Mexico and Nevada but are also known to have other bases in many countries around the world. There are 7 to 8 feet tall Orion greys, with facial features similar to type of greys, except for the wide nose. These greys have a technology that helps them act in a miraculous way. These greys are less inconvenient to humans than type of greys. However, they are considered hostile. They tend to control more by exercising political influence and negotiating agreements with influential figures in the field. Their main bases are in the Aleutian Islands. This is the type of aliens that was seen not long ago in eastern Russia. The shortest breed of grey, about 3.5 feet tall. Their facial features are similar to type of greys in Zeta Reticuli and derive from the same root race. They are as hostile to people as the Zetas. I'm from a solar system in Orion, near Bellatrix. Aliens with the appearance of insects. Much less common than humanoid, grey or reptilian aliens. A race of beneficial alien insectoids is said to have come from Arcturus entities that can take a variety of forms. These aliens have a pacifying nature. I live on the planet Evo, the planet of love, in the constellation Orion. It is an immaterial planet from another dimension, astral. It seems unreal, has a pale purple color, and the ground is transparent. On this planet is the purest life and closest to the absolute. The entities of love that populate this planet are unimaginable, hard to describe. They have the color of a flowering bat, bright bright and transparent. They look like globes of pure love. Some of them change their shape and become triangles, love triangles. Entities emit vibrations of power, energy and love. It is a place of love, purity and divine peace. Evo can be reached by bilocation and astral doubling. Many mediums since Emanuel Swedenborg have stated that other dimensions of our solar system, including the Sun, are populated by intelligent and rational entities. The famous contactor George Adamski stated in 1950 that all the planets of our solar system are inhabited. He described their inhabitants as similar to humans, but much more beautiful and stylish.